cool. Here we go. For the first time in more than a decade, Celine Dion, people think she's very sexy. She looks lean. She looks mean. She looks good. She's touring the U.S. as part of her latest world tour. The Canadian powerhouse is performing more than 100 shows. Tomorrow, she, release, she will release her 27th studio album. She's calling it Courage. The album and the tour came more than three years after the death of her husband. That's Rene Angelil. He was also her manager. They were married for many years. And both projects are deeply personal to her. They reveal her resilience in the wake of this loss. It was devastating, she says. We met with her in Cleveland and got exclusive backstage access at her very first U.S. stop. Are you excited about tonight? I am. Even with a career spanning nearly 40 years and chart-topping hits that made her a household name, for Celine Dion, the rush backstage before a big show never gets old. The adrenaline is like a drug, so that's why I keep doing it. It's like, it's addictive. Love you. It's been over a decade since her last U.S. tour. All right, have a good time. Love you. Love you. And she's back on the road like she never left. Well, that's the thing that was so interesting look at the audience. Younger, older, male, female, black, white. I mean... All you different know how ages. How much it makes me feel? No, I don't. I and don't also, know. And also, yeah. it's like I'm so proud. I look at those kids, and they're like 17 years old, and then I'm 50 years old, and then I'm like, wow, what's happening in my career? And that is the greatest gift. They look at me, like I said, like beyond the songs. Celine, are you okay? We got you, girl. We're here. We love you so much. I could certainly feel that in the room. It's the first time they're seeing you after Renee's death, and they just want to make sure you're okay. Did you feel that from them? So much. No one to hide from the truth I know. Her new album and the tour are both called Courage, and that's what Dion says she needed to move forward after the death of Renee Angelio. When someone down He was not only her husband of 22 years, but also managed her career from the very beginning. Courage is her first English album since his passing. I've been so much involved, not only in my album, but into the production of this show. I say what I like, I have ideas, they can be tacky, wrong, I'm not asking to be right. I'm just asking to be heard. Do you not think you were heard before? Are you a different Celine? I didn't want to be there. You didn't. I didn't want to be in the meetings. You didn't? No. Oh. I just wanted to sing the best way that I could, and that's it. Basta. You do your job. Yeah. But now, yeah. Renee is not... Taking is, care of that. Yeah. But you do seem very much in control and in charge. It's just the fact that I can be in the, the team of production, and express my ideas and my thoughts. And that gives me a lot of like, well, if that idea turned out into something super amazing, yeah. I'm not just a singer. Courage, don't you dare fail me now. And I'm struck by the lyrics, courage. Cause it's not easy when you're not with me. That actually is my favorite song on the album. And I'm wondering what that word means to you now. When I look back, my family went through a lot. Losing my husband, my manager, the father of my kids, my friend. I feel his vibration and his support. Still now. Oh, for Three forever. years later, yeah. Forever. What do you miss most about Rene? Oh, everything. His smell, his touch, his way of making me laugh. It's like when I'm not on stage and my fans are home and I go in a hotel, for example, I don't have any pillow talk. Say yes, once more. I, I do like the song Say Yes, the lyric in particular. Remember the good times, let go of the pain, say yes. Have you let go of the pain? Renee will always be with me. 
But I'm not in pain. Let go of the pain. Say yes. Say yes for dance. Say yes for friendship. Say yes for love maybe one day. I don't know. Are you open to it? Yes. You are open to it. I'm an open book. Yeah. You know me better. You, you, open, open. you are open to it. Yeah. I'm open. Am I ready? No. Yeah. Will it happen? I don't know. Yeah. But you're not stressing about it. I'm not stressed at all. Yeah. I'm enjoying my life so much more now than ever before. Really? I had to prove myself that I could do it. I needed to prove to my family, my friends, the business people, the industry, the fans. That you could do this, you mean? That you could continue That I can on sing and continue and, and not have a hit but a career. I feel like I can do anything I want. Do you? I do. Yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. I've always been all right and I will always be all right. Just think about the lyrics, my heart will go on. She's vulnerable, she's strong, yeah. but she's also wide open to all possibilities. And she, I have to say, she likes being the boss. Yeah. But when you ask her what she's most proudest of, it's her three boys. Renee Charles is 18 and she's got twins who are nine years old. And she's most proud that they've all gotten through their father's death and that they are closer than yeah, ever before. That's she's very, powerful. very proud of that, and that means more to her than anything. It's very daunting to have to sort of take control of your business yes. when you put it in the hands of somebody you trust who's not there anymore. Well, like she said, I never yeah. wanted to do it. Yeah. He would tell me where to go, what to do, how this works. And she liked that. She yeah. liked that, and she wanted that. Now all of a sudden, she has a say in yeah. how it goes, and she also likes that, too. She's empowered by it, which yeah. is great. Her album, I have to say, guys, it's called Courage. It comes out tomorrow. It's so, so good. Courage on that album is my favorite song. You can go to our Facebook page for a lightning round of questions with her. She sings about her favorite food. She reveals the TV show she likes the most. And here's a hint. It just happens to be on CBS. She didn't know it was on CBS. <laughs> I go, that that's one of our shows. Yeah, that's one of our that. shows. That that's one of her favorite shows. All right. Uh